Hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. I'm with you. And you'll be in a world of your imagination. My texture is really fine and my hair is thin. So I'm just going to show you the products I use to make it look nice and full and how I get my beachy, messy waves. And this style is great because it lasts like a few days. So um, yeah, I washed my hair today and then I towel dried it and I usually leave my hair in the towel and I do like my skincare. So I'll like tone my face, put my moisturizer on and then I take my hair out and then I will put the product in. If you have fine or thin hair, you want to choose one, no more than two products. I always opt for some type of like root lifter or volumizing mousse for my hair just to get some fullness and add some texture to my hair. So I'm gonna show you my favorites. And again, I don't use all of these at once. I just pick one and use one product. Catwalk Root Boost Spray for lift and texture. You don't wanna put any product in your hair when it's like soaking wet. You wanna kinda of towel dry it. And when it's about 50% dry, then you would wanna go in with whatever volumizing product you're gonna use. So I'll section my hair like here, spray, and then I'll section it down here again, spray, and then I'll section it like right here in the middle. I don't like to hold it too close, kind of back off and then give it a, a spray. And then again, the two sides right here, and then I'll do the crown, and then I'll do the very, very back, like the nape of the neck. So that's how I distribute the product. Whatever product I use, that's how I apply it. This is a spray, and this is the Big Sexy Hair Full Bloom 72 Hours Thicker Fuller Hair. It's basically a thickening spray, and it just makes my hair like super big. Um, and the last product, which I've mentioned before, I've used this for a couple of years now. This is the Bedhead Totally Baked Volumizing and Prepping Hair Meringue. And this is a mousse formula. And mousse formulas are the best for um, fine, thin hair. If you use too much of it, your hair is going to feel gross. My length of hair and how much I have, I only use one pump of this. I'll put it in the palm of my hand and use this these fingertips to kind of pick it up and I'll like dab it through my little sections. Um, today I went in with this so after I put it in my hair I blow dried my hair upside down and um, this is this is where we're at. You can see if I like do this you can like I'll get some some volume going on I just like brushed it flat but this stuff creates like amazing volume. Now if I didn't have this in my hair and I just like let it air dry or like blow dried it with no product my hair is very limp and like sad. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I wave my hair. So I'm gonna start by sectioning it off. So I'm gonna go just above the ear all the way around back and section this hole. And the wand I'm going to be using is from Irresistible Me, their sapphire wand. And this has a whole bunch of um, different size attachments. I'm going to put a picture here. One of my go-to wands. It gets really nice and hot. So I'm going to be using the biggest size. It goes up to 450. I'm going to put it down to 390. I'm going to start by teasing my roots a little. And I'm going to be taking some hairspray. This is the Kenra Volume Spray Super Hold Finishing Spray. Love, love, love this stuff. And I'm so picky when it comes to like hairsprays. So this one is great, especially when you have fine thin hair. It's hard to find one that doesn't like make your hair feel crappy, but it still gives like a nice hold. So, okay, I wanted to just like lift that, lightly spray it, and then I'm going to take a pretty big section. I'm just going to wrap that around one time. It doesn't need to be perfect. You just kind of want to give it a little twirl. Do the same to the back. Sometimes I don't even do this bottom. I'll just like tease it and spray it and leave it at that. So this is definitely optional. You don't have to do this. You can leave it straight. And it just gives it a little bit of something. I'm going to do the next section. So I'm going to go here and back and this side. My hair is thin, so I can do this in two sections. If you have thicker hair, you may need you may need to do three or four. So I'm gonna take one section, give it a nice little tease, a nice little spray. So I'm gonna hold this section straight out. I'm gonna take my wand and place it right in the center of my section and wrap it around one time. So the root is straight and the end is straight. So there's that, and then I'm gonna 
over to this piece. Section off the other side. So now that we have the sides done, we're going to go ahead and do the top. Now, depending on how you want your part, I'm going to part mine in the middle. But if you want your hair to be like to this side or to this side, um, you're going to want to do it this way. So I'm going to take this back section. You tease the roots and then lightly spray again. You want to do that to every section. And then I would get the wand and wave it back, like away from my face. And I would do that to every section going down. Um, that way all this would be kind of waved this way. Or again, if you do it on the other side, make sure you just hold the wand this way and away from the face and do that to every section. Um, today I am going to be doing a middle part and I'm going to start with this back section back here, lightly tease. Hold it out and again in the middle just wrap around. And there's that one. And you don't have to do these all going back. That's just how I prefer it. You can definitely do them going, um, do one going that way, one going forward, one going back and kind of switch it up. This is just, I like them all going away from the face. But play around with it, you can always switch it up. When I get to this one right here by my face, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna tease it, I'm just gonna lightly spray right here. And brush the, and I don't like to go so much in the middle right here. I like to kind of bring it down and wrap the end. And I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to go ahead and run my fingers through this side. Kind of break everything up. That is a gray hair. Oh, and... All right. Hello, gray hair. You are not allowed here. Right. And if you see any pieces that are just too straight for your liking, um, you can definitely go back and give it a little, little love with the wand. I actually like when there's some straighter pieces mixed in with the wavier pieces. Spray the roots. I have like little flyaways from, I don't know if it's breakage or new growth, but it's not cute. So I'm just kind of like lightly spray the roots and kind of run my fingers through to kind of lay those down. And then I'm going to lightly spray and lift. And that is it. I'll show you guys the back real quick. So if you guys give it a go, be sure to take a selfie, post it on Instagram, tag me, tweet me, Snapchat me. Um, I'll leave all my social networks down below. I'd love to see your guys' recreations. This was actually really fun. I haven't done a hair tutorial in a long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing with your life? And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys very soon. Peace.